So there is this tool called Minecraft Overviewer. With this you can basically create Google Maps in 3D but with your Minecraft world. But the thing is, it's not an application that you can just install to your computer. No, it's a command line program. This means that you can't just open the search bar and search for the program. But you have to actually open the command prompt and execute it in the command line. On Nitrata servers, there is a built-in um, overview map. Just scroll down, head over to overview map, where you can activate it, choose the Minecraft version, have a look at the render log, and the map itself. There's also an uh, embed code for HTML if you uh, have your own website and you want to integrate it uh, into that. Uh, for the map you can't see anything, that's because you always have to scroll in and it takes some time but eventually you have the map. So this is just like a map of me and my friend's um, server. Also I haven't seen many people do this but there is this uh, embed code down here and there is the direct link to the overview map. You can just copy that, head over to your browser and then you have it in a full browser window, not not in the uh, iframe. Um, and also, this is the web interface of the server and not everyone should have access to this because that's for configuring the server. If you don't have the possibility to render your map in the Nitrado web interface because you don't have any Nitrado server or the overview map is bugged out again, you can also do it on your PC with the um, tool. So you head over to overviewer.org and click on download. Then depending on your OS, you download the right version. So for me, this would be 64-bit Windows. Also, I had uh, problems with the 64-bit version not working um, sometimes, but the 32-bit version should work um, fine. After downloading, you want to unzip your uh, file by right-clicking and extract all. Hit enter again. After it finished unzipping, double click on the folder. Double click in that folder. You want to right click here, copy address as text. Now to start the overview, you want to press Windows R and the window should pop up, it should pop up down here though. You enter CMD for command and press enter and this window should pop up. This is the Windows command prompt. You now want to enter CD space and then you press Control V to insert the file path from down here and press enter and now you can start with a rendering head over to um, your saves location to do that you press windows r then insert percent add data percent press ok and then go to dot minecraft um, and saves I'll just pick this world to render. You now want to copy the file path of your world. Then go to the command line um, and type overviewer.exe. Then press space. Then in quotation marks, you want to insert uh, the file location by pressing Ctrl plus V. Uh, then you press space again. You then need a folder somewhere on your device where your map will be rendered in. So I'll just quickly do it on my desktop by right click, new folder, we'll just name it overviewer. You then want to double click to open it and copy the path from this folder as well and insert it by pressing Ctrl V. Before hitting enter, the first time you render a map in that exact file location, you have to delete the folder 
before you start rendering. Now press enter. After it says your render has been written to the file location you wanted it to be, you know that, um, yeah, it's finished. You then go to your file location and you double click the index.html file. And there you have your world, which in my case is a void world, which means there is no natural generating terrain, but with uh, a custom uh, spaceship. Nope, it's called Space Station, which is called the Project 2048. You can download it on planetminecraft.com. Wasn't built by me though. There will maybe be um, another tutorial how to use the extra functions of the overviewer in the future, if it's not linked in the end card already. Ooh.